What is going on guys, Kieran here, and today we are continuing my McFarlane Destiny figure reviews. This is the King's Fall Warlock. Really looking forward to getting this guy open. I always thought the King's Fall armor was my, well, it was one of my favorite sets of Warlock gear from Destiny 1. And uh, really, really am happy to get a figure of this guy. As you can see, he does come with the Touch of Mallet and the Black Hammer Sniper Rifle. Very, very cool looking. He has the Iron Banner Ghost Shell, the green one. On the back here, just like uh, the Titan, you have all the other McFarlane Destiny figures from the wave let's get this guy opened up and let's see how cool he actually is now here is the king's fall warlock opened up and looking pretty damn good if i do say so myself he does have a couple of issues that i have noticed from playing with him basically the articulation is a little bit lackluster you really can't do a whole lot with this guy the head really cannot move more than just that little bit of left to right so that really kind of hampers posability i kind of like to do sort of over the shoulder looks with my characters but yeah you can't do that on this figure the arms they can bend in and out but that's as far as they go or well, you can kind of get them up there a little bit but i really don't want to break this piece here so just be careful with that and then these elbows really can't do a whole lot that's like that's the the entire range of motion from the elbow and you can kind of rotate it sort of you know left and right but again you really don't want to force it and the hands are the same issue that i had with the titan they are really really like stiff and it's really hard to put the weapon in his hand and also you can't get him to sort of hold the touch of malice with two hands which really really bugs me it's like they gave him a sniper rifle but you can't get him to hold it with two hands like really why taking the touch of malice out let's get these weapons off him just so we can see them with the character get this off he is very very cool looking though i will say that the articulation is basically the only gripe i have with the figure everything else is pretty much stellar i really really like this guy he is unbelievably well detailed you can see with all these sort of high sort of chitin very very cool looking i love the helmet i've always loved the uh, the king's fall helmet i was never lucky enough to get it for my warlock but really really did like the uh the king's fall helmet love the uh the whole chest piece here the cloak There's some nice purple accents throughout the cloak that is very very cool looking some nice gray on the arms you can see on the uh, the armband he has oryx's head just like in the game this guy is very very well done as for the accessories let's get a closer look at the touch of malice one of the most interesting weapons in game due to its lore this gun is literally oryx this little piece here is called the ravenous heart and that is actually oryx's soul so when we kill oryx the taken king he basically gave us a way to transmit his soul into the gun so that he would live forever and still be killing but very very nicely detailed on that some nice uh, little bits of orange and gold throughout the uh, the, the shroud on there nice little bayonet very very cool looking but yeah that is rather rather nice and we also have the black hammer or the black spindle whichever one you want to call it this one is actually the black hammer because it isn't well, it doesn't have the uh, the black accents on here. It's more grey, so that is the uh, the black the black hammer from Crota. A nice green sort of hive energy on the front. So rather rather cool looking. It also comes with a tiny iron banner ghost from the Taken King. Don't know how well that's going to focus. Um, mine is really really badly painted, but he does come with it, and you can just sort of put that to the side. Just so you can see them together, here he is next to the Vault of Glass Titan. Very, very cool looking. I can't wait to get the Hunter open and have all these guys. Also, they just announced actually recently that they're going to be doing a uh, Ikora, Kate, and Zavala McFarlane set, which I cannot friggin' wait to get. I'm going to have a little Destiny Shrine with all these McFarlane figures because they are very, very cool looking and they look amazing on the shelf. That is about all I've got for you on the King's Fall Warlock. I think as a toy, I think the Titan is a better figure. But on display, this guy looks really, really nice. It's just the fact that the articulation is pretty bad and you're not going to get many poses out of this guy. I've been struggling to find a way to get this guy to look like, like he's in an action pose. Whereas with the Titan, you can get him into some pretty dynamic ones. But the Warlock, I think just because of the cloak and just the way the armor is designed, it's just... It's very, very hard to get him into a decent looking pose. Like, he can only really hold the sniper rifle with one hand. That's why I haven't really bothered to show it off, because there's not really a whole lot. There's really not a point to it. That is the King's Fall Warlock, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for the next one, which will be of the Hunter, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.